Okay, hey, what's up, Virgo? Welcome back to my channel, Finding Peyote. Um, this reading is for August. Right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Cross Watcher. Um, happy August. Please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And um, thank you to all my new subscribers and if you're a Virgo or watching for one please check out my channel because there's a lot of Virgo readings I only read for Aquarius Libra Virgo and Scorpio because I don't know why those are the ones that come out the best so I guess I'm like connecting with those signs the most Um, I'm going to do a star spread, and the first card will be your signifier card, Virgo. Do one come out? Ooh, the moon. That's crazy, because this is my second reading, and the first one I did was Libra, and the sun came out as their signifier card, and for you guys, the moon came out, so maybe you could even be dealing with the Libra, um... If you'd like a reading like that, like Virgo and Libra, leave me a comment, please. Um, and I would totally do that. But the moon also talks to me, I guess, what, what's the moon? Pisces? Scorpio? Anyways, I don't really know. Um, but it could just be all these things kind of mysterious, things that you don't know, things that you're trying to figure out. The first position is you currently. And three cards came out. Should I take it? They're really awesome. Um, we have the world card, the ten of cups, and the queen of wands. So Virgo's being like kind of extra, you know, and I wanted to say ordering a lot of cards. Let me, three cards, please. Let me get let me get this many. Okay. So what I see here is really like somebody who currently has taken control of their life in order to have success and success is what you know really has happened and so you know the moon card is um, really interesting to have because you're just not really you don't ha apparently have all the pieces to the puzzle so you've maybe made the ending first and now you're figuring out um now you're wanting to figure maybe you, you needed to get out of a situation and so now you are figuring out you know now what you know kind of thing and um for what you want is in the second position is what you want and that's the knight of swords so what you would like is to kind of have some kind of clarity but or like you know new information that that rushes in or you're you would want to rush in with information or clarity um hidden factors is the hierophant so that could be marriage because the ten of cups is also here this could be like you know you thought something was going to be over but it's not you know soul searching says on the card forgiveness that's always nice your obstacles is the king of cups so this is really starting to feel like kind of a love reading huh and so if what you really want is or i mean you're your obstacle would be the king of cups this is somebody who you know is the uh somebody in control of their emotions so maybe as an obstacle it's you wanting to you know keep control remain remain calm and keep control when you're feeling all of these feelings because you, you got the moon right now and uh, um your outcome is the page of cups and the page of cups is talking about an offer an apology um a pregnancy could even happen but it's going to be something amazing because the ace of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck the hierophant is at the bottom too and these are already pre-shuffled okay so let's clarify the moon since i'm nosy Since these are since these are general readings, 
you know, the moon could be anything, you know, could be a number of things. So I usually try to keep it general, but what came out was the heart. <laughs> That's why I laughed. So, you know, you're just really unsure about where you want to go um, when it comes to marriage. It is what it seems like. The page of wands. Yeah, you've had this like amazing opportunity to evolve and, and change. Um, you know, something has happened here where you 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 were able to end like kind of take control over your life or the situation even things that were in the dark the moon you were still able to kind of rise above all of that with this queen of wands and to end some type of cycle the world and and what that was is like with the page of wands it's to me saying like sending out a message like hey everybody this this is me now um maybe things were just so unclear for you about how somebody felt for you or whatever that you said you know what never mind and what's that causing to do is to have them rushing back it could be more than one person the two knights but they are two knights but it could be you know what you want is for somebody to either rush in or to rush away to leave you alone no it's russian so you would really like because the sun came out what you would really like is for this person you know to to rush in i guess with an offer or or to tell you something um, the Ten of Wands, or you want them to say that they are ready to kind of, like, not, not ready to change, that they already did change. They're coming here a changed person, and, you know, this is this message with the Queen of Wands, that they have also taken control, or that they want, you know, you... hidden factors is the five of pentacles and the hierophant and that could just be feeling like you know it, this overwhelming feeling that you, you're never going to find the person you know that you're supposed to be with or whatever that you know the soulmate thing is just not going to happen for you um and like i said the obstacle is you know with the chariot is in clarifying the king of cups is getting that new kind of um initiative to be in love and to give your heart and to be in control this is an obstacle for you you know because you're feeling like very unsure you've made some decisions um maybe impulsive decisions and you are waiting for results to come but a little bit you're unsure so you're fearing the worst and being close out feeling neglected shut out um and not included you know in uh not included in in things maybe you feel pushed out of people's lives because you put up boundaries and ended certain things you took back your power to end things and now you're feeling out in the cold because people were used to the way that things used to be traditionally you know the hierophant talks about tradition so you are changing your views on what traditions are and people are feeling put out or you're feeling put out because you're changing your views on your position or views on pos your views your position on views no i don't know whatever about marriage about tradition about how you how you want your life to be the page of cups as the outcome is clarified with the king of swords so maybe and it, it it could be an offer it could be holding back something or somebody had been holding back whatever and so you're deciding to cut things off altogether ten of swords it causes um a painful ending but you are on this road to self discovery and to level up and put negative things 
in the past um, because um, you don't want this stuff anymore. Didn't you guys have a reading saying like you didn't want to be a third party anymore? Whoa, no, oh, no more being the third party. And then the next reading crazy is like you feel like you made a mistake. So maybe in the past you felt like, oh my gosh, like maybe I wanted this person back. I should have done that. Maybe you stood up for yourself. You're like, ah, oh, blah, blah, I didn't want to end that or whatever, which is what this is. Like the Ten of Cups, the world, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. You kind of took control over the situation and ended things. And that brought a Ten of Cups to you, but only in your own world. But then you're you want it <laughs> oh crap maybe that's what you want maybe low key that is still what you want if you had two situations maybe both of them are gone but you want both of them back maybe you didn't choose i'm not really sure maybe maybe they found out and they both rejected you you're rethinking because you're feeling out out in the cold because you know now you've rejected or they've rejected you and so you know now you're kind of like afraid to take a new beginning with that anybody apologies are here but they're being rejected you know things are being held back and um ten of swords is here but it does say that everything is going to be fine with kipper first despair yeah maybe right now you're really just kind of feeling like nothing is really going your way things are just not you know maybe like in love and and you feel a little bit like this is karma you know if you had to choose between two people and they found out and they both left you or something like that sucks um gift and main male amazing maybe you know this has been the other way around and people are like offering you stuff and you're like no i'm out yeah marriage you know maybe you're trying to figure out um things that you value in traditions and marriage and things and to try and this is this gift maybe this page of cups is this gift um from the main male that came back but it's rejected um so somebody either gave you a gift or you gave them a gift and it is rejected and that you know really hurts too more information please the king of pentacles yeah that's maybe somebody who just kind of felt a little entitled like you know i can have all of these things kind of like i'm right here come to me you know type of thing because all the vines are grown over but that didn't really work with the three of swords coming out again and the page of cups coming out again that even with apologies or offers and everything like nothing really worked the seven of cups because somebody just had too many options and it seems like somebody found out about it too the four of swords so yeah there's been now kind of time to have the dust settle a little bit over what's happened and things are just kind of messed up um, but the emperor is here too so it shows that like you know you would really like to take control of the situation but you know that you're not really there yet because the emperor is not the highest card the empress is the highest card so you didn't come in with an empress energy you know saying this is an all empowering like i'm literally doing everything it takes to make you know a situation better this is one step down the emperor so you're just still like a little bit unsure about yourself the temperance but you would like things to heal the two of cups you feel like one person you know was your soulmate let's see which one was your soulmate the wheel of fortune and the ace of swords so it could be the one that initiated the breakup it's like the one who found out maybe there was two people and that you're dating and one person and found out and stuff and that's the one that you felt was the one you connected with you know yeah but they they're the ones that moved away from you exactly so that makes sense And the Queen of Pentacles, you felt like this person was really amazing, you know, in your life. 
um, but you haven't been able to talk to them. Yeah, you haven't been able, maybe they kind of have ghosted you, you haven't been able to talk to them. You want to tell them that you'd like to kind of, you know, make this feel better, bring balance with this Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, and that this person is your soulmate, the lovers. How does this person feel about you, Virgo? They feel defensive. Seven of Wands. They're waiting for you and <laughs> they either feel like you are the Empress, like I said, like it's a step above, you know? Or they feel like they are the empress, which kind of makes sense. You know, if you pull the emperor and they pull the empress, it makes sense. But this is how they feel about you. They are defensive against you. They feel like you are the empress. They're waiting for you with the three of wands and the skill. Oh, excuse me, I totally burped. I'm so sorry. And the nine of pentacles. They just, they really love you a lot and they think really highly of you in general. And the lovers, they also feel like you are their soulmate. Where'd that card go? Oh, King of Pentacles, holy cow. Yeah, and they feel like, you know, you're just kind of like stuck a little. Oh man, and there's a pair too, the Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. So this person that you broke their heart, they really love you. They really think that you guys are soulmates. The Ten of Cups, oh man. What's the outcome? The Wheel of Fortune, okay, Destiny, Fate. The Ten of Cups, okay, awesome. The Two of Cups again. And the Knight of Wands, awesome. Yeah, and it looks like there's just going to be, like, new passion and stuff, you know? And the devil, okay. And the justice, alright. You know, maybe it could be, you know, ending. There's going to be the justice, and they really, that toxic cycle of, like, whatever this third party kind of thing, you know, you guys will be together, that's not going to happen ever again lesson learned, you know? Some advice. Virgo, okay. Yeah, I mean, forgiveness is going to have to happen. The Three of Swords has come out three times now. You're going to have to not exactly don't hold back seven of swords you're gonna have to show them with your actions not just tell them you know that things are different queen of swords right that you've cut everything bad out of your life mm, two of swords you know don't overthink these things and don't take on oh, this turned off so long ago and don't um, don't overthink stuff and don't take too long. The Seven of Cups, yeah, I don't, don't just do too much wishful thinking or just keep thinking about other things that could go wrong. Just go and try and fix it. The Page of Wands, they message them. And the Five of Pentacles, yeah, I don't don't just suffer like get out there and um 
contact them pick the knight of pentacles yeah not just tell them but you know show them the two of cups is here and the ten of cups again just um also show them that you know you're really serious this time and third party stuff is over and you've learned your lesson you close the cycle and that you are ready to be honest again so i really hope this reading resonated i hope it resonated for maybe a cross watcher or something if somebody you know had done this to you um and you needed to you know get some clarity about it or feel better doesn't seem like this person has bad intentions or either way virgo is just these things have happened but lesson has been learned and um time to move on and heal from the past um this was your reading i really hope that it resonated um if it did please like my video and subscribe to my channel and like i said um yeah follow me because um i've got lots of virgo readings we're dealing with a virgo if you'd like any kind of request always just email me at finding paper <laughs> blah, 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 finding peyote at gmail.com or um leave me a comment i hope you have a great august and a great rest of the week bye